Hey guys, how's everything going? This is Jay. So in this video, I'm going to solve a problem from the quizzes of uh, BFE. Uh, actually, other than the coding problems you already do, there are a lot of other problem types on BFE, like the TypeScript puzzles, the quizzes, the system design, and other uh, questions. Okay, today, let's solve the first one in the quizzes. Promise order. What does the code snippet on the right output by console log? Well, this is a typical like uh, interviewing questions when uh, they're asking you about the event loop, right? So let's begin. Oh, I cannot, I cannot modify the code here. Okay, so in these these kind of pro problems are all about event loops. Uh, please uh, read the details of your event loop to be short. Uh, just remember the run of the whole script is a task and the tasks are processed by event loop in queue right so the tasks are placed in you can think of like putting in a, uh, uh, an array and they will be processed one by one and in, in each task they may have a lot of function calls the function calls will be put in a call stack and when there are no more calls in the call stack when there is no more call in the call stack the next task will be processed but beside this task queue there will be actually a micro task queue so which is kind of, uh, which is the promise stuff or the mutation observer i believe and then add some other ones yeah and uh, and that will be okay let's say uh the first will be task one task two blah 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 and uh there will be a micro task queue Ooh, okay, micro task like uh, micro one, micro two. So the whole task now will be uh, a run script. And then when they run, when they cre create, create a promise, the micro queue will be a, be filled up with the uh, promise then. Something like this. So just, just remember micro tasks are flushed before running uh, next task. Okay, set timeout. We'll add a new task in the task queue. So this is the core. Let's begin. The first one, console log one, obviously is called right away. And here we create a promise. The promise initializer are asynchronous, remember. Uh, so the console two will be called and resolved. The promise will become resolved state the status and the console log three will be called so three. Now console log four is obviously asynchronous. Then then callback, as we said, then callback will be put into the micro task, right? Micro task queue, so they will not be called right away. Console log two and then uh, a six. Okay. They will these two will be put in the uh, mm, wait a minute. Oh yeah, this one. This one will be put in the micro task, and then when it is run, it will it will put the task. And then when it's when it is called, the promise will this then promise will be in, into the resolve state, and then then callback will be put in the micro uh, task micro task. Q again, yeah. So five, six will be late, delayed. Now let's go to seven. Okay, now set timeout adds a task into task queue, so it will wait after all this uh, ta uh, script are run. So it will be after five, six, and then set timeout console log nine, same as this one, but it has a shorter timer. Uh, so this one actually. Uh, when it so so when when the code runs here, this whole first task is done. Now we will flush uh, the uh, the micro task, which is five. When five is flushed, it actually adds a new task into the uh, this one. Then call back again in the uh, in the micro task queue, so it will be flushed again. So it will be six. And then everything is done. Oh, let's handle next task, which is this one. This timer edited by set timeout. Okay, should be should be nine. And then the next 
there's nothing in a call stack. There's nothing in the micro micro task queue. So it will run this task again. So eight. So this is it. I submit. Yeah, interesting. So that's all for this one. Hope it helps. Uh, see you next time. Bye bye.